But the players will about to tap in this mud. Project Dwarves is rolling on full steam ahead. And um, as you can see, I got my 16 hammerers converted up. Oh boy, oh boy, these guys were a pain in the butt. I was trying to go for all of these guys with the winged helmets to show their elite status and I ran out so a couple of them don't have the winged helmets. They've all got the face plates glued to the front and they've all got giant two-handed hammers. So in the dwarf box you get these left arms that are not holding any kind of shield handle and they're pretty bare and uh, well, these guys without the without the winged helmets have their two two hands already, so I didn't have to do it for them. But for all these guys with the winged helmets, I had to glue on the left arm that's not holding anything. It's just kind of tucked to the side, and it's I guess it's meant to put a shield on it if you are running this guy as a squad champion. But they put so much into the box. Like I said, that with with the 32 that I had, I was able to to scrounge up enough of these winged helmet guys for, for to have 16. So, um, yeah, so I put one arm, the left arm, going off to the side, just hanging out, tuck, holding the beard in place, while the right hand is holding aloft a giant two-handed hammer, raising it high, marching forward and stuff. And the, the, the two-handed hammer, I had to scrape off the the hand the bottom hand that's holding the bottom of the of the hammer so you can see that you know it's got some some scrape markings some scratchings where I, I had to file it down and um, cut and chop and then I had to cut off the axe head because there's no two-handed hammers for a game called Warhammer you think there would be but no they only have one-handed hammers, so I had to chop off the hammer heads off of the one-handed hammers, chop off the axes of the two-handed axes, and then glue them on top. So some of them are at different lengths, some of them are at different, I mean, different heights, because some of them I, I chopped at different areas just to see where it was the most stable. I tried to keep consistent with the bands, and where I could, I tried to keep the, um, you know, as thick an area as possible to glue together, so there's more of a surface area. But it, it was too small. It's too small to pin, and it's you know, it's just a, a hassle, especially when you're working with plastic glue, because it, it just it bonds so quickly if you're you've got your finger holding it down. But the great thing about plastic glue is that because it bonds so quickly, it forms that chemical bond that has that chemical reaction when the plastic is held against each other for a couple of seconds. So at that point, you know, it's it, it, it holds pretty well. Um, for the champion, I decided to not use the guy that I had at the end of the first video and to use this guy. And his he is actually holding a mug of Bugman's Ale to signify that he's a champion and he's also standing on this little piece of cork. But he's uh, he's gonna have a, a quaff of some some delicious, delicious amber ale before before putting the putting the heat on. Um, all right, so this is what I've done for day two of Project Dwarves, and it took up just about all of my time converting, cutting, cutting, and gluing. So I am gonna have to call it here. But I uh, hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna hold off priming these guys until I have the rest of my stuff built up so I don't have to go back to it. Um, so next I'm probably going to go on to the Warriors. That way I get all of my close combat guys done in one go. So I'm gonna build up some two-handed Warriors and that's gonna take a lot less time. I should be done in half the time because I'll be able to use these bodies, the torsos with the, the left arm already molded on that, and I won't have to convert the Warhammers. So, uh, and they don't have face plates, so there's three things that's gonna take a lot less time. I just glue the torsos together, stick on the two-handed ha two-handed axe, and be done with it. So, I hope you stay tuned for that. Um, I'm really, really excited, and um, Project Dwarfs is rolling full steam ahead, and I'll see you in the next one.